Look at these NPR renders. Amazing, right? They are a breath of freshness, different from the common realistic renders you see everywhere. The materials, the shapes, and the animation are just different and outstanding. And there are so many styles, from cell shading, comic, anime, semi-realistic, the list can go on forever. If this is something you want to get into, here are 10 tools and resources to help you get started. If you want to make NPR renders, you have to change how you create shaders. Render engines like Cycles are designed with a goal to capture the real world in the most realistic way. They try to accurately determine how light would scatter and bounce around your scene and from that calculate the shadows, reflections and more. For NPR artists, you want to break this structure and introduce these engines to a new way of rendering. And that is what this Starize Shader Pack does. Starize Shaders is a powerful tool designed specifically for 2D look development. It offers a collection of over 55 unique semi-procedure shaders, each with its own distinctive style. This add-on is also compatible with Blender 4. NPR rendering is not only about shaders and materials, the shapes are unique too, especially trees and vegetation. This Flora Paint is a library of every style you may need. Flora Paint is a comprehensive botanical asset library for Blender, offering over 500 varied resources in more than 10 categories. Perfect for creating vibrant, sterilized scenes in anime, cartoon or conceptual art styles. You can use it to scatter and even customize the look of your assets. If you're looking for a mix of procedure, stylized and semi-realistic materials, Saleh Afkami publishes a number of highly detailed materials from stylized, realistic and semi-realistic nearly every week. The materials are procedure and come with custom masks to help you add extra detail like wear and tear. In addition to shaders and NPR plants, NPR elements like fire, Smoke, rain, and snow look different from photorealistic renders. They also animate differently. This unique style can be hard to capture. If you want to master it, take a look at this Elementor Fire Smoke and Rain library. While this add-on is not focused on NPR rendering, I just had to add it in here because it looks so good and was just released three hours ago. So you might have missed it. You can use it to create large water bodies like lakes, oceans with large waves, and all procedure and real time. While this might look like the ocean modifier that comes built in in Blender, it's so different in many ways. First, it works in real time. That means you don't have to bake anything. The ocean modifier in Blender, you have to bake the textures to get any water form. In this physical water add-on, that is all done in real time. The form already comes with the shader. Another way this add-on is different from the ocean modifier is that it's optimized to add more subdivisions or resolution where the camera is looking or focused and less subdivisions in the far distance of the mesh, giving you more details at close-up areas where it's more needed. If your render needs background assets like clouds, real cloud can turn any mesh you have into clouds. You can then customize the look of the cloud to be as realistic as you want or as cartoonish or NPR as you want. The add-on also comes with a collection of VDB clouds that you can just drag into your scene. The add-on also uses a volumetric shader that is twice faster than the built-in Blender volume shader so that your volume objects don't add any extra rendering time. One thing that screams production value in any render are caustics. They take too much time to render but just add such a strong vibe to your render that sometimes it's worth the added time. Except that with Shader Plus you can now get the same effect of caustics in your renders in real time without any additional time just additional production value. This also renders in Cycles and Eevee. You can also use it for additional effects like dispersion and thin film when rendering metals. If non-photorealistic rendering is not just a one-time thing for you, maybe you should invest in a long-time solution like this Starize Tree Asset Generator. It's a library of procedural trees and vegetation so that whenever you're making anything, you can always customize the trees to match what you are doing. There are so many stylized styles and you can even create your own from scratch. This creative stream course is a detailed course that can help you with that. The course takes you through 11 styles of NPR rendering, making them step by step. And by the end, you will be able to make your own in no time. If everything can be photorealistic, then everything can be non-photorealistic, including cars. This is a library of low-poly cars that can match most NPR renders from anime and comic renders. And with a few adjustments to the proportions of the cars, you can make them for any type of NPR rendering. And if you want more styles, the Toon Kit tool has you covered. 
Tone Kit for Cycles is based on OSL shaders that are fully interactive and integrated into Cycles node system and Blender's viewport. Tone Kit shaders are lightning fast and most will converge to noiseless production quality images in only four samples. And finally, there is Comicaz, a huge collection of shaders, modifiers, compositive effects, and assets for creating comic and tone style art. If you are looking for a manga, anime, or Spider-Verse style, this toolbox will help you achieve it in no time. It also runs in real time and with EV as well. Thank you for watching. If you are an NPR artist or if you want to get into NPR artists, take a look at this list and let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video.